right, so we do have a quorum of six people today. Um, so we're going to call the meeting to order at 2.14 p.m. Let me get the agenda up here. Okay. Did everyone get to... We're going to skip introductions because we all know who, who we are. Um, meeting minutes. Did everyone get a chance to take a look at the July 30th minutes? All right. So actually, everyone here that... Let me just, let me just verify and make sure that we can, we can actually take a vote on it. So four out of six were hey Jennifer, I, can I get your opinion? You could vote on it. We can vote on it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um so whoever wasn't at so very Correct me if I'm wrong. Who, who wasn't at the meeting can't vote on it, correct? We, can, we just don't have yeah. any. Okay. Anybody can vote. Okay. Since all right, so is there a motion to vote in July 30th meeting minutes? Is there a second? I second. second. All right. Motion by Amy. Second by Annie. Roll call vote. Jane. Yes. Annie. Yes. Amy? Yes. Alex, yes. Jennifer? Yes. Roland? Yes. All right. What? Well, there we get a chance to take um, take a look at last month's minutes. Any objections, concerns? Is there a motion? I make a motion to accept the last time. All right. Amy, motion. Amy, okay. motion. Jane, seconds. Um, roll call vote. Jane? Yes. Annie? Yes. Amy? Yes. Uh, yes. Jennifer? Yes. Roland? Yes. Great. Back to the handy dandy um, agenda here. All right. So, Jennifer, could you remind us of the policy to get minutes in? Say that again. I'm sorry. Um, what do we do when we approve minutes? Do we send them to you? No, you would make a section probably on Hadley Media's website, um, and um, excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, make a section. That, actually, we can do that offline. I'll yeah, show I'll you. How that. To okay. Yeah. Cool. Perfect. All right, we'll get that done. Um, so, Kimley Horn meeting update. Um, before we dive into the uh, the carbon copy of last month's. Uh, letter that I could permit copy and paste it and change it to library board of trustees. Um, so the consultants um, suggested that we have our Charlotte or that focus group type of meeting um, in early November. I think they're looking at the first week in November, probably that Thursday. Um, and they're also recommending we do like an open house type of deal. So like in the afternoon, we have an open house. We talk to folks about the digital equity work and the survey that we did and what we're gonna be doing. And then we actually had in the evening, we actually have the actual Charlotte focus group. Um, and I was also thinking of when we have that open house, have other folks come in from like Charter or T-Mobile and whatnot to um, if, if residents have concerns or about any products that they have, they can go to certain people that that is within digital equity and they could talk to them about stuff. Um, and then maybe by some other folks like MBI and um, if there's anything for the schools that deal with digital equity and um, student 
You you get Annie, you get uh computer to students, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So maybe like have a little informational table about that if parents have concerns and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Just a thought. Um and if it's gonna be like an open house, I'm thinking maybe the senior center. Just depends on when. What else is scheduled? We're assuming daytime. Yeah, well, the Charlotte the open house would be like in like the afternoon, I mean, the actual Charlotte would be in the evening. I see. Let me take a look at my. Well, it can't be on Wednesdays. Nope. Well, no, no, no. It wasn't. I don't. <laughs> yeah, we have Mondays. We have uh, finance yeah. committee. <laughs> Although that's after town meeting, maybe finance committee sleeps then. Don't know. I'm not best on Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't want to this year. No. Um. So, how about November seventh? That's a preliminary date. November seventh. Yeah, they the Crimley Horn does act quickly. Um. Thursday. Yep. That's not the second Thursday, right? This no, it's the, the first Thursday. Thursday. Second Thursday. I will check with file. Uh, let me check right now. Okay, great. November second. At what time? I'm sorry. November seventh. Um. So probably have. So, like in the early afternoon, two o'clock would be that open house, and then um, usually nighttime meetings are like six o'clock, seven o'clock. So either one of those times. So, uh, which does not need to throw a wrench in this. The schools don't need a table. I can do follow up on my own because I'm at the uh, joint conference with school committees. That okay, goes for a big chunk of that week. So. Yeah, working around me is a nightmare, but don't worry. If that's where it lands, then I can um, still I get mean, information. Did you the yeah. Available Thursday, the seventh of November, in the afternoon. We're getting confirmation now. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, and then we need. Well, both. It's going to be both. Like 6.30 or 7? 6.30 or 7. We're not absolutely sure yet. Thank you. Bye. Awesome. All right, cool. So um, live action stuff going on here. Um, so November seventh, um, do like three o'clock, two o'clock for the open house. Maybe well, they o'clock. close at four, so it's better to do two. So if you have stragglers, they're out. Okay, so two o'clock. Okay. Um, and then we'll do the meeting at like seven or six thirty. And that's a like an open forum for the town. Yes, exactly. Yep. Six thirty. Yeah, mm-hmm. I do. Yeah, I find that a lot of people want to be doing. So yes, and especially I believe one of the consultants coming from Waltham to here. So so the first is going to be our meeting at two, and then it's going to be the open house at six. No, o- open house will be at two. At two. Yep. For everybody. And For everyone. We're going to have the tables. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Yep. Okay. And then I'll make some phone calls and emails and stuff like that. See if we can get some folks in. Okay. Um. So is that you get? Please include. I know a lot of people use um mm-hmm. consumer cellular. Yeah, consumer cellular. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Um, even if it's like bringing in someone from like Best Buy or Walmart or something that right. does mobile stuff. Mm-hmm. Um. Good. All right. So two. So November seventh, two o'clock for open house event. Six thirty for the Charlotte. Okay. How about Zoom people? Is that does that sound good? Yeah. That's anyone that's have, fine. Okay. Does anyone have any recommendations or people to have tabling at at this open house? Or do you think we're good on what we have already? So let's have that list again. You have Charter. Mm -hmm. You have Verizon. No, T-Mobile. T-Mobile. You should have Verizon. Verizon, okay. 
Consumer Cellular. Consumer Cellular or Walmart. Or Walmart. Um, okay. What do you think about inviting um, Patrick or the library to come since they provide um, digital access to people? I can I can definitely um, reach out to them. Um, would anyone from the senior center want to do anything, Jane? Like what? I mean, we have tablets. Yeah, have tablets and... We have open Wi-Fi. People sit outside all the time. You don't have to sign in. Huh. Okay, that's true. And then do you have some tra technology training too, right? From senior it's center? Individual. It's individual. Okay. One so on one. That'd be good stuff to promote. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. So the age and dementia friendly group is also talking about digital equity for seniors. They are. Yes. So okay. maybe they need to be there. Who's the what's the name of that group again? I don't see why not. Age and dementia business friendly group. So I'm going to say these back to you. You said yeah. T-Mobile, Charter, Consumer Cellular, slash Walmart, Verizon, Goodman Library, Senior Center, Agent Dementia, Business Friendly Group. Mm -hmm. Miss anybody? So far? I think we're good. I'm just going to almost go to school. I, I said, no, you don't, but I'll take care of that because I'm at the school committee <laughs> conference. This is <laughs> Humera. <laughs> I'm okay. off at a school committee conference with Humera. Okay. And should we do this fully in person or should we have a hybrid? I think only so. in person. Always. I think this should be in person. Only in person. Okay. It's too confusing for seniors to be in a room where things are going on and have other things going on. It's too confusing for me. <laughs> You're a senior now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to tell you that. <laughs> like, oh, I was trying to, I was hiding the silver, but you know, okay. That's your maturity. <laughs> <laughs> your wisdom comes with that silver all right awesome so just in person november 7th okay cool so anything else you need to attach to that make a poster we'll put it up right i'll do that all right and i'll write another press release too on it um once we get more things more details details yep and we'll need, in advance, we'll need to know how um, you want the room set up. I mean, normally, we have tables around the edge where vendors are sitting with their information. Yeah. But do you also want to have an area where people are sitting to be talked to? Or do you want to have it just come and look and go away? So I took a look at what they have for tonight's event. Oh, that's terrible. We're not having 50 people sitting there. Okay. We, you're not going to get 50 people. <laughs> All right. But so did, did you come to any of our health fairs? No, I don't think so, so. Basically, we don't have anybody talk, but what you can do is put tables on two sides of the room, mm -hmm. which sounds like about yeah. the number we have. And then a few people, chairs facing the screen in case there's something you want to project and talk about. Yeah. Like the results of the survey or like a running slideshow. A running slideshow. Okay. And that can run, you can have that running while the people are just talking to vendors too. Okay. All right. I like I like that. And plus, we'll need the uh, actual in-person, um, the actual Charlotte set up too. So that'd be a good way to get mm -hmm. people to mm -hmm. move on into, the, into that part. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk more offline oh, yeah. about that. Oh, yeah. We have time. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of water over the dam between now and then. Yes, definitely. Um, all right, if there's nothing else, should we just quickly vote on that letter I drafted up for the Library Board of Trustees? Which I did not reach out to. It's pretty much a carbon copy of why it's sent to the Smart Growth. Okay. Oh. Is everyone comfortable? I think you're doing a great job with these, with, with all the stuff that you're getting out there, your letters, your letters to, you know, in support to when you're sending them to our representatives, mm -hmm. everything. It's just like, wow, you're getting a lot of work done. You're Thank doing you. a fabulous job. Thank you. And uh, an update from just, just a quick update from Smart Grove. 
Um, they are, they are, it seems they seem very receptive of sharing survey results with us. So hopefully the consultants can get that at some point and they can do what they got to do with that. Um, Invite our new state rep to this. Omar? Yes. I can do that. Yeah, he'll come. What? I don't... He's looking for things to do. Mm -hmm. He's looking for get ways to get to know us all. So. And he's on the post. So. so let's have him. Yeah. I'll definitely make sure he gets invited. Thank you. Um, and maybe someone from uh, Joe Comfort's office as well. Because sure. um, East Hampton also did, did a similar thing. They they developed a plan. Um, and Homar was on that. On that board. Committee. So they're good. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll make a motion to approve your letter. All right. Second. Uh, motion made by Annie, second by Jane. Jane. Roll call vote, Jane. Yes. Annie. Yes. Amy. I'm just trying to find it, but I can't find it. I'm sorry. It's okay. I will I'm say serious. this because I didn't read it. All right. Sorry. Alex, what was the motion? I didn't hear. Motion was to um, accept the, uh, give me, pretty much give me, um, motion to give me permission to send a letter to the library board trustees to share survey results. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought it was a letter I was reading. Uh, never mind, I got confused. Okay. Thank you for explaining that. So, I, yes. Yes. <laughs> Jennifer? Yes. Roland? Yes. All right, unanimous. Oh, I vote yes too. Um, <laughs> so, unanimous yeah, vote. And a very short meeting today. I don't have any updates for the survey, nor does the department head survey I wanted to do. How many are coming back? How many of you actually? I don't know digital, but we're getting a at least a handful of uh, paper, hard paper um, surveys. Uh, when I'm on vacation, uh, I got a whole bunch of them back. And because we did have the two um, pre two articles in the Amherst Bolton and the um, Hampshire Gazette, which are pretty much the same paper, um, get posted in there. Um, and then hopefully at some point, the reminder will publish theirs because they did come reach out, ask me some more questions. Okay. Um, and I was, I was also at um, Farso's uh, this past Saturday. Um, we got a couple back. Uh, it was a very slow, gloomy, cloudy day Saturday, so not many people came out to go eat. So if you really want to get people, mm -hmm. go to the dump on Saturday. Gosh. <laughs> I'm here. No, I'm, 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 I, I don't hear serious. Absolutely. I could go to dump on Saturday. See what I can do. Um, and uh, we did, I did uh, raffle off a $25 Arstos gift card that was generously donated to okay. us. Um, thank you, these Barstow Mans for that. Give her a quick shout out. And, uh, yeah. and then, though I tried to get some online engagement, so if you took the survey and you I would put you in a raffle. So I'll send off the, I'll mail out the, uh, the new, the, yeah, the gift card later today. Okay. And uh, yeah, so we got, a, I, I, I'm going to say we at least got a couple of uh, responses. Yeah, definitely. Uh, exposure. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, Jennifer. Could you mute? Because all we're hearing is you. All I'm hearing is you typing. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, but even though it's slow, we got the word out. That's what's important. Um, I want one question on the survey. What um, when you're looking at how do you know? Because it doesn't ask for a name or an email or anything that you're not getting the same person over and over and over again. You know, I don't know, Amy, unfortunately. We're okay. very, we're married to this survey. Yeah. It's MBI survey. So 
I, I, it, it's fine. I, I, I've noticed that a lot on the surveys lately. It's not just this survey, but mm -hmm. I've been seeing that a lot. Yeah. And so I kind of wonder about like how people are going to really want to stuff the ballot box. No, but what I'm saying is <laughs> if there's how many different people, because one of the things, and I don't know if it would had to do with that, maybe the Russell School. Russell School. And there was questions if it was coming from the same IP address or some of the mm -hmm. stuff. I still, that. Right. So that's why I'm questioning on cert because the other thing that can happen at the senior center is someone will fill it out and two weeks later they'll fill it out again because they have no memory of filling it out. Sure. I mean, all surveys are going to have are going to be skewed a just a little bit because we don't know who's going to who's actually taking it, how many times they're taking it. Right, exactly. So it's it's all it's all up in the air. But at least you're getting responses, and we're just going to assume the best that nobody's done it twice. Yeah, and I've been in tandem also sharing this survey and the Smart Growth survey. And Smart Growth got over three hundred, so hopefully we're getting the same amount or at least close to it. That's good. Um, but we announce it every time there's any group meeting there. We say, surveys out there on the table. Please yep. take them. Now the library has one. Uh, the fire department has one out there, too. Do they? They have. Theirs is great. Theirs is do your escape plan from your house and turn it in, and you will get entered into a raffle. Nice. Oh, people love raffles. Yeah. Absolutely. You want to buy tickets for a raffle? Yes. <laughs> honestly, honestly, the next survey I ever do, I'm probably going to get someone to donate a gift card because that's a good way to get people to do, do stuff, especially when there's now four surveys going on. Mm -hmm. So, um, great. So we got everything covered for today. Um, and does anyone have any suggestions or topics for next meeting? Which will be in October, I assume. Yeah, depending on it's going to depend on our meeting, my meeting with the uh, consultants. Okay, Alex, when do we expect to start getting actual numbers from them? Um, well, the survey we're supposed to stop the survey around the end of this month, early next month. So I can always ask again um, if they can give us a, some preliminary numbers. Because here, because they can't, they we can't just look online. We actually, uh, the consultants have to actually request the results from MBI. But there seems a little point in us meeting again before we actually have data to look at. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. So. Well, the the only other thing that we could talk about is this um, November seventh. Event. We need to do. Anything. We need to plan that for next. Yeah, we need to have planning for that. Yeah. Definitely. Um, so maybe it might be good for planning purposes of the, the event. We should definitely meet in maybe a couple weeks. Well, October. Or October. Early October. Mm -hmm. They all have, I'll probably get, by October, probably have more um, stuff in concrete. Right. You'll know who's going to come. And yep. It gives you a month to find it, and then it gives us a month to figure out how we're going to deal with it. Exactly. Do you want to send out a doodle poll to everybody, including the people who aren't here? I could do that. Yeah, I mean, when I did that poll earlier, before we started meeting, I, it's at everyone, like, Tuesdays. So I've been doing my best to do it on like Tuesdays. Okay. Not Tuesday the eighth. That's our volunteer lunch. Okay, I'll make sure. Also, I'll... I have a standing meeting on Tuesdays at one thirty, or uh -huh. every other Tuesday at one thirty. So. Mm hmm. Okay, and I think I I I didn't remember you saying that, Jennifer. I think I've been. That's why I chose a two o'clock time. Yeah, but it goes till two thirty. I'm on that meeting too. Okay. But it's not, it's last week. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> That's week. Also, it's uh, every other week. So it's like first and third. So how about Jennifer? If I just gave you the date, you can give me, let's say, tell me whether or not two or three o'clock works. Yeah, of course. Cool. Perfect. Yep. No problem. Um, all right. My Tuesdays in October are totally full. 
<laughs> so maybe you don't want to do Tuesday. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out, Jane. All right. We'll figure it I out. I won't kick you off. Don't here. worry. All right. <laughs> All right. Any other concerns for anyone? From anyone? No. All right. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. We have two seconds. <laughs> so like I'll give a uh, motion by Jane, second by Jennifer. Uh, give Jennifer a turn at seconding. Okay. Um, I'm assuming everyone was okay with us ending, so we're going to close the meeting at 2.39.